Hello folks, this is Tom from anti-proton.com and as you can see I have my new inspector. Today I wanted to respond to a video by UYT384. He posted a video where he showed salt substitute measuring 500 counts per minute. I didn't say this was wrong, of course, I tend to never actually say it was wrong, but I was confused by such a high reading. My Inspector, EX, my ins, my Inspector EXP is right here, my CRM100 measures 40, 50, maybe 60 counts per minute off of that same substitute, and it is generally regarded to be one-third as sensitive as this, which has, of course, the large pancake probe. But my math showed this unit to be more like eight times as sensitive, which may be more accurate. I'm not 100% sure yet. But I wanted to take this time to show that not only uh, was I wrong, but UYT384 was 100% correct with his findings. So, without further ado, I shall take my Geiger counter here and move it out of the way. The reason I'm moving it out of the way, of course, is because I don't want to affect its readings because it's connected to radiationnetwork.com. The potassium salt that I'm going to be using is too low of radiation to, to make it all the way to this Geiger counter, but it, it's important just to be sure and just to be safe and correct. Here's my reading. It's currently at 40. Um, my background is normally... 43.79 counts per minute. So let's call my background 43. Now, the reason I know it's 43 is I've taken a lot of, uh, oops, I've done a lot of testing. I'm trying to figure out how to use my new camera here. I just recently did a test. I did 18,350 counts over a total of 419 minutes. And I got that, that average. And all the other averages I've done recently have been within one count of that. So I think that's a pretty good statistical uh, average. Here's the Geiger counter. Now, let us take, oops, let's move the Geiger counter out of the way for just one second and show you the bag. This is a bag of light salt. I don't have mine so finely taped to a paper as he did, but I wanted you to see that this is light salt. It does not have a check source hidden in it. I mean, I guess you can't verify it other than to say it's light salt. See what I mean? all sand. The Geiger counter is already squealing a little bit. This, the inspector is actually good enough to pick it up. Okay, I think we can all agree at this point that this is sand. Not sand, I'm sorry. Um, potassium salt. I'm, I've had a long day at work, so I do apologize for my stupidity calling it sand. I guess my brain is probably melted after. I think I worked a 12 or 13 hour day today. We had a lot of systems with troubles. And as you can see, it's just potassium salt. So without further ado, the readings. Let's get it all bunched up, kind of like he had it. Pull back with the zoom. Take the Geiger counter. Put it on. And see what I get. He had a little bit more than I do, so my readings may not be quite as high. But it's kind of cause and effect, you can see. Move the Geiger counter just a little closer. And though he had a little more than I do, I think we can agree that the numbers are pretty close. He was correct. You know, I take it back. I actually have the numbers he has almost identically. Nah, he's a drop more, like 30 or 40 counts more. He had a little bit more of it than I did in one spot. But I think we can all pretty much agree that that is correct. So I have to reevaluate my thinking. By the way, see what I mean? I pull it away, it stops immediately. Now, let's put this over here and run it over the area. The reading is high because it's still pegged. It will go down. But as you can see, it's nowhere near that reading. Now, I do not take back anything I've said so far about rainwater samples. Because I have plenty 
of rainwater samples, I collect them, and I get very little of anything off of them. That's, by the way, still pegged and still dropping. See, look, now we're down to normal. By the way, I, I'm not saying that rain doesn't have radioactivity. As you all know, I picked up double background on my and my uh, rainwater at one point. Totally agree that there's radioactivity. I don't agree with the really high readings. But let me show you one more bit about that, though. And this is different now. This is no longer discussing UYT384. This is now discussing rainwater samples that have been alleged to be as high as, well, let's say 0.5 or 0.6 millirem. Let us switch this. Well, first, let's pull out a little bit more potassium. Here's a large bag of potassium. You get the point. Here's the additional potassium. So now I have both of them together. With both of them together, let's see what we get. And then once we get these high readings from this, I will switch over to Milla. Uh, well, it's not really actually Milla Dinkins because this thing is uh, calibrated for cesium 137 like most Geiger counters. So it's inappropriate to use Milla Dinkins unless you're using it for the calibrated source, which is, of course, cesium 137 so we do this, and we get the count up to, you know, four, five hundred. In fact, hold on, let's get it a little bit higher. Pull the Geiger off, move this, put the Geiger back on, and then we'll, like, put this over the Geiger counter and get it from both sides. It is significantly getting pegged now. Should get over 500. Well, let's see. No, we're not. The reason is pretty simple. Potassium is not strong enough to make it more than a short distance. So we're not really gaining anything, actually, ironically, by doing that. That's kind of funny. But anyway, so let's put this at about 530 counts per, per minute. Switch it over to Miller Rankins. All right, we can all agree this is a lot. 0.14. So at 0.14 which is one-fourth of 0.6 millirems. We are at between four and 500 counts per minute. That means that the reading of 0.6 millirems on this unit would have to be um, 2,000 counts per minute or higher. 2,000 counts per minute is a tremendous, stupendous, let me switch back, amount of radiation. I mean, it, it's, it's not going to kill you immediately. Immediately, It's not going to give you um, acute radiation syndrome or anything like that. But honestly put, that is a tremendous amount to have around you. This is not. This is light salt. It Not only is it does it not have a very high activity, this whole bag here is putting out enough to be at only one-fourth of the rainwater, but worse than that, it doesn't have the intensity. The energy level is decently high in K40, but not as high as some other things. Anyhow, so let me cut that back to counts per minute. I don't say the others are incorrect, by the way. I don't. But I disagree with the concept that all few, uh, all um, water should be that high, all rainwater. I'm thinking the possibility of an individual particle from a reactor. If the, if the readings are valid, then, then perhaps an individual particle from a reactor is what got to them. Because that, of course, could account for a, a sudden and higher reading, a little tiny itty bitty piece of something relatively radioactive. And let's move the other Geiger counter back into position because it needs to be there. So anyhow, there you go. And I can safely say to you, YT384, you're 100% correct. I also love my Geiger counter, the new one, the same type that you have. And uh, keep up the good work. This is Tom from anti-proton.com, signing off.